Hello. This is Charles. Presenting to you a project in the electronics and microprocessor. That's the subject. We have a microprocessor controlled traffic light where it helps the pedestrian to cross the streets. This one, the requirement of the project normally is that we need a hardware and software components together to control the crossing of the pedestrian. So one of them is that uh, we need three LEDs uh, for the cars, red, yellow, and green, two LEDs for the pedestrian, that is red and the green, and then a button for the pedestrian, whereby once the pedestrian presses the button, they should be given the chance to cross. Also, you have, we need two sensors uh, on both sides of the load, whereby when the car comes, it is detected and then gives the given a way to go. So the scenario happens when you have two uh, parties at the same time, when the pedestrian and the car are at the same crossing point, then we need to set a priority. Now for our case, our project, we say that once those two are together, then the car should go. So our our project, we have used we have uh, used buttons. We have three buttons. This is the prototype. We could not put the sensors directly, so we have uh, simulated the sensors at the button. But for the pedestrian button, we have the real button here. So this one is for simulating the midnight. What happens if there is a danger? If the load is under construction, we need to push this button so that we disable these other sensors. So this, we can check how this works. We have the three lights here. We can use this. This is for the car. This is the green for the car. This is the yellow for the car. This is the red for the car. This one is red for the pedestrian, and this is the green for the pedestrian. This one is another one for the pedestrian to indicate the situation. We have a speaker, which is a requirement to give the signal for the pedestrian, those who may not be able to hear, those the, uh, the, the disabled persons. So in our, in our project, we're using the, some of the, the board, this is the, the microprocessor board, or Abitech, called Abitech board, which uses the core processor, the Intel of T1, and uh, other peripherals for support. So we come back here for the project. Our design is meant to be that at default, all the the pedestrian and the and the cars should be red. So depending on who comes first, we would be given chance to go, or the right to go. So let us try to let us demonstrate to see how it goes. So I need to activate this to put in going. So at this place, we hear that it has the the sound. Oh, sometimes I can increase some of this one to allow you hear what I'm saying. So this is the default state, the initial state. So when the car comes, the car should go. So the car, we simulate the car with this button. So you see, this is the car now is allowed to go. But the sound stays behind to signal the, the pedestrian that they have no right to close. So let us see now. If the the pedestrian light is placed, button is placed, this one indicates that okay, your command is being processed. Now the pedestrian are released. So after some time the system comes back to the initial stage, which is this. So we need a situation where when the the car and the pedestrian are uh, there at the same time. In our design we said this uh, the car should take the priority first and then later we release the pedestrian. So we try to simulate that. We press these two buttons indicating both the car and the pedestrian are there. 
So we see that the, the car is released fast. Released fast, and then later we want to see the pedestrian going. So we see now the pedestrian is also released. So those two, another set test is uh, to check our midnight situation. What happens if we press this button? This sequence comes in because this button has some memory. So when somebody presses the button, they don't need to keep their pressing. So it stores that. And later when the car has already been raised, then it comes back and allows the position to go. Now let us test our master button. So once this button is, involved, is pressed, we need just the car yellow flashing should be flashing flashing but when it is the button is released then we should go back to the default state which is the yellow yellow so yeah, now if you can have a free land so you see now the pedestrian comes we need the pedestrian to go so the pedestrian goes now if the person were going then we press the car we want it that after that we need it to switch to the car straight away and that one was true so the car is is allowed to go so in the same process once this one is ha is red then the yeah we can see that now the person have been raised i think you have enjoyed the project, the presentation and the project. Thank you very much. Good day or good night.